Hey guys, this is Son Acoustics here coming at you with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about reverb and I'm going to show you the proper way to set up reverb in FL Studio. I got a clap here and I have it routed to insert 4 on my mixer. Now what a lot of people do is they'll go ahead and they'll put the reverb right there on their mixer channel. Now this is actually the improper way to apply reverb to a sample because in real life, let's say you're playing a guitar inside a room, when you play that guitar, you're hearing two sounds. You're hearing the sound from the guitar directly to your ears and then you're hearing the sound from the guitar that's hitting walls and furniture and other items in your room which are bouncing back and hitting your ears milliseconds later. That is a natural reverb and when you go ahead and you apply reverb directly onto your mixer that your sample is playing on, what you have is only a wet sound. You don't have a wet and a dry sound. Now the proper way to do it would be to go to your drop down here and select Fruity Send. There's this little dialog box right here. Now what, over here on your mixer you have four send channels, one, two, three, four. What we're going to do is we're going to select number one, then go to send one, and then we're going to add our reverb from there. Now what this does is it takes your, your clap sound and it routes it through here to your send channel. So right now you have two dry signals and one of the dry signals is reverb. Now by default when you open up your reverb it sends the dry to 100 percent. What you want to do is you want to drop this all the way down to zero. So that way you only have one dry sound over here on your insert and only one wet sound on your send channel. When this is pulled all the way up you have two dries and one wet. So we want to make sure that we drop this all the way down now we'll go ahead and hear how it sounds. What you're hearing is a completely dry sound followed by a reverb tail end. This is the proper way to set up reverb. The only exception would be is if you had a let's say an effect sound and you really wanted that wet sound and you purposely wanted to add reverb to this channel you could do that, but as far as vocals and most instrumentation, you're going to want to use a send channel for pretty much everything. Now, while we're in here, one thing to note, uh, it's a good idea by default it has it to 75 hertz as a low cut, depending on the sound you're using. I'll go ahead and add an EQ so I can show you. The snare basically starts around 450, 500 hertz. So what we can do is we can bring this low cut up to about that same point. That's it, guys. Just a quick tutorial. want to show you the proper way to set up reverb in FL Studio. Thanks for watching.